Now, the first phase of the Ridge Hospital expansion project is expected to be completed by the end of this month. The new facility is expected to take healthcare service delivery to an international standard. So we have in the studio the medical director of the Ridge Hospital, Dr. Thomas Anaba, to tell us more about this new facility. Welcome, doctor. Thank you very much. Right, how are you doing? Happy to be here. I'm doing great. Very well. Uh, what is new about the facility, Ridge Hospital? For sure, there are several things that are new because uh, the investment that has been put in there would definitely bring out something very new. Uh, let's take, uh, start from the first, the ground floor. I would say that the whole uh, first uh, phase is made up of uh, five buildings, which is the main building, the utility building, the anesthesia school, the staff accommodation, and the mortuary. And then, then five stamp, uh, two standby generators. In the main building, that is where people are really concerned of, is made up of the emergency department and the ground floor. The emergency department now is moving from the six bed emergency department that we currently have mm. to a 40 bed emergency department with various sections within the emergency department to separate the very critically ill from the similarly ill and to the less ill. That alone makes space and work, staff working there to be more comfortable. Besides that, it's also close to the diagnostic centers that they need to diagnose their diseases, the imaging department, which is also within there, that has been upgraded from the mm. current CT scan. We now have an MRI, mm. we have a fluoroscopy, we have another CT scan in the building. We have a modern X-ray. And all these things are linked up to a digital platform. No more printing of images. Mm. So you send the patient to the imaging department. He goes there, they take the image, and it comes to your desktop. Then you review the image. The laboratory is also just adjacent, mm. whereby any laboratory request you make, it goes straight to the laboratory. The sample is taken. The result is sent back to the place so that the doctor can review and treat the patient very quickly. Staff have been trained to man that department. Some went to Kumasi, so they are, we, are, we are currently doing training on the equipment there to move in very shortly. From the emergency department, we also have what we call a theater. Currently, we have a theater that is one that we use for both emergency and elective. With this new building, they've separated the theaters. We have 12 theaters, and four are dedicated for emergency. This means that no client would have to wait for an elective case to finish before an, an emergency case goes in, no device, no vice versa. So if you need emergency surgery, there's a theater waiting for you to have your surgery. So doctor, if I can just catch you in, what critical services will be put, will offer us, I mean, will be given to us with this new facility that we are about to commission? There are several services. We, take, we talk about a proper emergency services. We'll provide it. Critical care. Mm. We have a very big critical care department. I'm sure it's the biggest in the country with 36 beds. And then we have a neonatal intensive care, which is also going to be one of the biggest in Ghana, with uh, 40 beds, which is enormous. We, we're going to introduce what we call laparoscopic surgery. Surgery whereby they, you can be operated today with minimal access to your body, that you can even go home haven't undergone a, big, a very big surgery. So it's called, sometimes people call it robotic surgery. We're going to introduce it. We're also going to uh, introduce what we call a, a special services to clients who would like to even register with the hospital without being clients, that is client services. Mm. And anytime you come, once you have a, a code number and you have some little money in your account, you can access the services without having to worry. You can even book online to come to Rich Hospital to see a doctor you have chosen to see. All that is being worked up. We'll be having neurosurgical services uh, start in Rich come uh, uh, next year because we've, if we have a very uh, sophisticated uh, neurosurgical dental equally, currently we, we're battling with uh, the orthopedic surgeries, but we're going to have a very advanced orthopedic services. Maternity is going to be exceptional, as for that one, and I'm happy for maternity because now women delivering in reach from January would have a private room mm. to labor and deliver without anybody seeing them except those they want them to see them right. and the staff working. Right, Doc, I think you're doing a great job. But a bit also whispered into my ears that uh, you are also one of the trained Cuban doctors. What was your experience like way, way back days in Cuba? Really, uh, I nearly shed tears this morning and mm. I had to, my wife had to console me because when I heard that Fidel Castro passed away, mm. I was very sad because all what I am today 
It's thanks to Fidel Castro. Wow. I was just a young, a young boy walking around Buku without knowing my left and right and had a scholarship thanks to Jerry John Rawlings. I went to Cuba and culminated becoming an anesthesiologist and later on an intensivist. And I really have better, uh, very good uh, memories about Fidel Castro when he came to our school one day and then there was uh, some problem regarding uh, uh, milk and he ordered that the milk should be provided immediately and mm. within one hour we had it. When we needed to go to a beach, he quickly ordered that we should be given buses to go. We were treated like kings, even though Cubans had difficulty, but he treated us like his children. He was not giving uh, the Cubans anything and leaving us out. Mm. They gave us special attention, special education, one-on-one -on -one tutorials, one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And they educated us not only to be professionals, but to have a human face. And that is what some of us try to exhibit, human face in anything that we're doing. Right. Thank you very much, Dr. Thomas Naba. You are the medical director of Ridge Hospital for passing through the studios with us. We are very grateful. Thank you very much.